We begin tonight with breaking news out of the Western Valley. A Payette County Sheriff's deputy is taken to the hospital after being shot. Idaho State Police say the deputy was hit in the leg during a scuffle with a wanted man. A little after 2 this afternoon, the deputy confronted the man at a Maverick on 16th Street in Payette. That's where reporter Chris Oswald is live with the very latest. Good evening, Donna Michelle. It's still a very active scene here at Highway 55 and 3rd Avenue North in Payette. Officers are coming and going from the scene. I'm going to step out of the way and show you a little bit of what's going on. I want to draw your attention to the back of the parking lot here where you can see Payette Fire has arrived on scene. They are here to start cleaning up some of the crime scene with the assistance of several police departments, including Idaho State Police, the Payette County Sheriff's Office, and Payette City Police. And what I can tell you about that officer that was shot during the confrontation earlier was that he was shot in the leg. Payette Police Chief Mark Clark tells me that the sheriff's deputy pulled into this gas station here when he saw a car matching an attempt to locate out of Ontario. When the deputy told the suspect to get out of the car, the suspect did so and opened fire on that officer. The deputy returned fire, hitting the suspect. I'm told the officer was, who was shot in the leg is expected to be okay. He and both the suspect who fired at the officer were taken to the hospital by air ambulance. The 24-year-old man who was shot is reportedly in critical condition. One witness who I talked to says when she heard what happened, she panicked. We're frightened. We didn't know what to do, and it's just so close to the office. I just thought, I just hope they don't start shooting. And I just panicked because I thought, what did I just get myself involved in? Now, Police Chief Clark tells me that officers were looking for the man who was driving the car that matched the description out of the attempt to locate from Ontario because he reportedly fired shots near a school in Ontario. The officer tells me, Police Chief Clark tells me that that officer who responded here is expected to survive. And I want to come back out here live here and just give you another look at what's going on. You can see Maverick employees up against the door here who are obviously distraught over what happened, having numerous shots fired outside of their store. I did talk to several witnesses here on scene today. One of the witnesses tells me that there were at least six shots fired. I'm told that the suspect was shot in the torso. Now, there is a school just a block down the road here. I'm told that that school went into lockdown for about 90 minutes because as the chief says it was a very dangerous situation with shots fired being in such close proximity to that school. Obviously details are still unfolding throughout the evening and we're going to be here to bring you the latest. Count on the latest coverage tonight on Fox 9 on your side and today 6 on your side at 10. For now we're live in Payette. Chris Oswald, today 6 on your side. Thanks Chris.